I'm, uh, I'm just gonna leave you alone. Probably a good idea. Put your therapist on speed dial on your phone. It's 2024 and every number is speed dial! Let's go! Good, we all feel Stop! Good. Never gets rusty! What am I doing? Get in my kitchen! Producer Drew, can you fix all this? <laughs> and when it comes to the Toronto Maple Leafs, you can crumple crumple yeet! Saw that going differently. With you, wherever you are, welcome to LFR. Leafs lose 5-2 to the Florida Panthers. And lock them <laughs> By the way, binary, right? There were two options. Binary. Tonight, you beat the Panthers. You play the Panthers. You want Florida. You get Florida. That simple. You had a 2 nothing lead. It's better than being down 2-0. At least I thought. You wanted to play Florida. You could have had them. Boston. I'm sorry. Boston lost on home ice. To the Ottawa Senators, they lost their final two games after being first place all year. They lost their final two games, including a game against Ottawa on home ice. You're trying to tell me they didn't do that on purpose? <laughs> oh, is that a tinfoil hat? Oh, it's a tinfoil hat, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's so crazy that that's a possibility. But you can't even be mad about playing against the Boston Bruins, the Panthers came back from a 2-0 deficit to beat you 5-2. Matthews couldn't buy one, and they couldn't find him, and oh my God, get 16 off his line forever. They got outshot 31-4 to in the second period. Forget it! Forget it! We wanted no shots! No shots! Producer Drew's been trying to talk me into this. Well, I'm not scared of Florida. Oh, I think you can beat Kate. No! No! Look at this nonsense! I've been saying for a month how much I like this team, and I do. I do, I really like the Leafs, man. They're scoring more. They got way more depth than even I thought. They've been getting some saves on occasion, but like lots of depth scoring, which they've lacked. They've lacked in the playoffs. And also sometimes when they get punched in the face, they punch them back. And when someone hits them, they hit them back. And two teams, maybe the only two teams in the league besides like the Chicago Blackhawks for some reason, that the Leafs 
Chiefs match up poorly against just based on how they've played against them this season, the Florida Panthers, and even worse, the Boston Bruins. The Panthers run you out of the friggin' building! Penalty after penalty after penalty, and oh, the refs, oh, the refs what? Every year, every year with this, and I'm sick of it. They suck, all right? Enough! At what point do you just accept the evidence of your eyes and ears? What are you gonna do, protest? They stink! You had two options heading into these playoffs. Colin Campbell's kids team, he's the AGM of Florida, or Colin Campbell's kids former team, that Colin Campbell was found on email complaining to the officials about the officiating of his kids team's games. Those were the two options. It's not a good league. All right, so I'm not gonna sit here and whine and complain about the officiating again, again. I'd like the games this year to be a little different for once. You know, I'm gonna take them as they come. I'm gonna take them as they come. The Leafs score? How they score? Let's talk about how they score. The Leafs get scored against? Oh no! How they get scored against? That type of stuff. Oh, this guy did that. I did that. Punch him back! I don't know what to tell you. But this team does punch back, and they get outplayed into oblivion. Apparently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, what, what are we supposed to, I'm supposed to sit here and believe the Bruins were the worst option after wa watching them get slaughtered in Florida? Hmm? It is what it is, man. It is what it is. They were either going to play those guys or these guys. Guess what? They're playing these guys. Isn't that fun? Isn't that great? How do they stack up against these guys, by the way? Let's talk. Let's talk about it, right? What? What did? What did? What did? Um, uh, down goes Brown say. In 2013, the Senators got an upset win in Boston in the season's final game, setting up an unexpected Leafs Bruins first round matchup that ended in one of the most depressing losses in Leafs history. I don't love where this is headed. <laughs> it's okay, Sean. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Listen to all of you processing this information. It's okay, Sean. It's okay. Because this time it might be different. Let's look at the season series from this year. According to Sportsnet Stats, Maple Leafs will square off against the Bruins in round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. We've established that! A team Toronto hasn't beaten in the postseason since 1959. <laughs> Oh, 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 do you know how long ago 1959 was? The Leafs have won four cups since 1959. <laughs> That's how long it's been since the Leafs beat the Bruins. They've had, they have four cups. It's a decade, a decade before the moon landing. <laughs> oh, but then, but then it says season series. Leafs wins zero, Bruins four. Tough start. Goals, Leafs seven, Bruins 14. That's double. Power play percentage, Leafs 9.1. Oh, Bruins 30. Oh, save percentage 891 for the Leafs and 949 for the Bruins. It's the playoffs, Stanley Cup playoffs. And it's only round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I got news for you. I got news for you. For all of you peeling back the layers of the trauma onion. 2013, 2018, 2019, 7, 7, 7. All of those layers of the trauma onion that you're peeling back right now. It's the Stanley Cup playoffs. They're hard. They're hard. They were always going to have to play a good team in the first round. And then the second if they're lucky. And then the third if they're lucky. And then it's the Stanley Cup final. You made it. You made it there for the first time since 1967. And you can still lose. You can 
make it all that way. You could, you could pay all the sweat, all the blood, all the tears, all of the things that you need to pay at the, at the cash register of hockey suffering in order to win the greatest trophy in all of sports. And you could still lose. Head into next season feeling like garbage because you haven't trained properly and you're still sore from all the injuries that you got throughout the playoffs and you didn't even get the payoff. You could be sitting there, your shoulders busted, your knees busted, you got a punctured lung, but you're sitting there like, yeah, but the ring's shiny, and you don't even get that. It's hard. So whether they had to go through the Bruins, or the Panthers, or the Lightning, they finally beat the Lightning, didn't get them anywhere, did it, did it. Now those two Florida teams can sort each other out. You could have gone through the Rangers. Maybe they would have matched up better against the Rangers. Maybe! But we had a chance to see a match up against the Habs in 2021, and they blew a 3-1 series lead. The President's Trophy winner said, not just the President's Trophy winner, the record-setting President's Trophy winner, the 2019 62-win Tampa Bay Lightning, and the 2023 65-win Boston Bruins. Both of those teams lost! In the first round, it's the playoffs. You got to play the games. And I can't wait. Oh, oh, I can't wait. Oh, no. <laughs> How am I alive? Oh, I'm a medical miracle. Oh. Mm hmm. They play again tomorrow. I have such a headache after recording this video. So we're, we're going to uh, wrap it, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to wrap it. All right. So that is uh, it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, man. We didn't even talk about Matthews. <laughs> Will he play or won't he play? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, I guess we're going to find out what their priorities are. That's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends.